Hey everybody, welcome back to day three, unit four, week one of your grammar practice. Today we are going to be looking at end punctuation and complete sentences. The next two days you will put all of these skills that you have learned to more practice by proofreading. So today will be our final practice, our final video for the week, and then you will do the rest of the work on your own. Let's go ahead and get started. End punctuations are all the punctuations that go at the end of a sentence, and most of you are already familiar with all of these end punctuations. A statement and a command sentence end with a period. You've seen this. A question ends with a question mark. An exclamation and an exclamatory sentence end with an exclamation point. Those are the sentences where you show a lot of emotion. A complete sentence has a subject and a predicate and shows a complete thought. Amy, for example, would not be a complete sentence, but Amy sings is a complete sentence because it has both a subject, Amy, and a predicate, sings. Remember, remembering always that a predicate is another word for a verb. Let's jump right in to the first sentence. You will finish the worksheet on your own. Rewrite the sentences with correct end punctuation and capitalization. The first sentence is, a new restaurant opened in town. That's not a question. It doesn't show an emotion. It's simply a statement that gives you information. So it is a statement that should end with a period. Remembering to capitalize, we are also going to make sure that we look at the sentence and, and check for the correct spelling of each word so that we also copy it correctly. We don't want to make any mistakes when the sentence is already spelled correctly for us. There. I'm going to move the box just so it's a little bit easier to read. And I'm done. I capitalized and I ended with a complete, uh, with a correct punctuation. I made sure all my spelling was correct. I'm ready to move on. You're ready to move on too. Go ahead and finish the rest of this worksheet. And if you're ready, you can move on to day four and five, or you can wait until Thursday and Friday to finish up your work. Then submit it in Google Slides to your Google Classroom. Thanks everybody for another great week. Remember to contact your teacher if you have questions and watch this video as many times as you need to, to be successful. Happy learning. Bye.